Well, Tammy has just mentioned several of them. We begin, first of all, about budgeting. Um, often we're so busy that we just um, spend money, we make money, and then we spend it. Um, but it's important that we understand the best way to hold on to money and save it for a rainy day, so to speak. Um, so budgeting is one of those issues. Um, another issue is that of credit. Um, too often, and you find we even start with our young people in college, you know, those tables that are sitting around out there on the quad, and they say we'll give you a t-shirt if you open a credit card uh, with us. And so credit is another issue to realize that you can max your credit card out, but eventually that money does have to be paid back. And if you don't, that there are long-term consequences uh, from not paying that bill. Um, another area is just that of saving and finding out what are the best ways to save money. Um, we're hopefully past those days of taking your money and putting it in a mattress, but at the same time, there is no harm in having a piggy bank on the shelf because that helps us to teach children as well uh, the value of saving. And then um, when you get a little more advanced in your saving, there's the issue of investment and planning for one's retirement for that day when you will not be working any longer and making sure that you can still make ends meet. Um, and so when we really look at the, the line or the, the depth of knowledge among our citizens of North Carolina, there is a gap um, between the haves and the have-nots. And so financial literacy is one of those ways of bridging that gap. And so many of the skills and the knowledge that those who have uh, a wealth of resources, it's important to also make sure that those who uh, have not had access to those resources are also educated so that they can have at least an opportunity to get to that same level economically.